Good morning guys and welcome to a brand new day. A day full of adventure and excitement. Like you never know what's gonna happen when you wake up in the morning. You feel like your life is just going along in the same every day, but it never is. Girls left me, I have all the water in the car and we're headed down to feed our ponies. And I don't know about you guys, but I suspect that no matter how long you have horses for, that your heart always skips a few beats when you're getting ready to go see them. Got the beet pulp. So, crushing willow today. Oh, and when she was looking out, I went in with her and I moved to her fast and pet her back real fast. And she didn't move, she just moved forward because she wanted to see out. Yeah, she's she getting desensitized to being owned by children, huh? Yeah, she did not. Oh, and so this is happening. So, wow, that's. That's a lot of poo. Here's her grain. So, what did you give her? You gave her all that hay? No, not all of it. That's the key. All right. It's funny how oh, I'm all jeans farmers. From Costco. Yeah, she got new jeans from Costco. Did you get new clothes from Costco? How come? Did you want new jeans from Costco? Yeah, she's like, I don't care about clothes. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, because she only has three pairs of pants that she'll wear, so she just wears breeches all the time. All the rest of her pants she won't wear. Thank you. Ruby's outside. Oops. I just want to stay. Like, don't you come down here and then just want to stay? I know. Uh, so Gabby's mucking. I think I'm going to put more shavings oh, in that stall. Come here. Come here. But look at all that pee. Is that all pee in the back there? In the back? No. It's just not. old shavings that were banked. Yeah. Look at all her baby poop. Happy Valentine's Day! Yeah, happy Valentine's Day, you guys. Yeah. Thanks for sticking happy. with us. And we are. This I is her valentine. Oh, guys. We'll go early. Willa, just to let you know, Willow's new color is pink because she only drinks out of the pink bucket and Stella so only drinks out of the purple bucket. Yeah. Sometimes in life, things just happen. Like, you plan and plan and plan, and especially, like, on our channel, it's hard to just plan, plan, plan. Some things just have to unfold, which leads me to, um, are we getting that horse? Are we getting that horse? We might. Do you want to get that horse? Yes. Who would he be for? Both of us. <laughs> All of us. Are we getting that horse? Yes. Who would he be for? All of us. Yeah, even I could ride that horse. The Easter present! So we haven't decided yet. Like, there, there's some stuff that we have to work through and stuff. So uh, you guys will be the first to know, though, like, as soon as we decide. Oh, we'll chew whatever she finds. This is wood, and uh, she tried to chew yeah, wood. Yeah, she is a wood, wood eater. She is a she is a wood eater, not just like cribbing. She's not like super cribbing. I don't really know, but uh, she likes to chew wood. She Your wants mom? out. She's like, let me out. Uh, so how's her water situation oh. in there? Do not trip. Does she need water? No, does not need water. Oh, that's not good news. She has half a bucket, half a bucket. I think it's frozen. So. All right, well, let's pop it and get her some fresh water. So this is the water that I bring from the house. It's warm water, and then I have that one too. I use this one to to uh, soak Stella's hay, and then I use these ones for the horse's water buckets. And I do this three times a day. So what I do is I take, oh sorry Willow, I take Willow's old bucket that Wait. she drank half of, frozen water, and I replace it with a fresh bucket of warm water that takes longer to freeze. Even though Sam tells me that's a lie. Ugh. There we go. And then I also use this to pour on Stella's hay to soak it. And I do the exact same thing with Stella. I give her fresh water and I... And then with Storm, it's going to be so much easier. I am afraid to bring Storm home. He'll just drink anything. I am afraid to bring Storm home. Storm is... I don't even know. He's like a firecracker. He's like a... He'll be sassy, like very, very bucking, rearing. Like girls are have common sense. Boys, I don't know. Not our boy, not so much. Ah, oh, so beautiful. That's when you do a little treat or something for her. She wants Ruby. Like someone taught this horse how to kiss. Yeah, somebody along the lines. But I think it's us, to be honest. I just go. 
Um, sometimes horses respond to kids better than ever. Sophie, Gabby, when are we bringing Storm home? When we get the other horse. What if we don't get the other horse? I want him to stay there because the arena's good. Yeah, I want him to stay there because the arena's good. And here's the thing, girls are getting ready for show season. Her here and Storm there. And then Storm will be there. For yeah, time. we're not set up for Storm yet. We need to like do work on our paddock. And yeah, and we need to work on our big paddock, and I'm probably going to divide it into two and figure out a way to put uh, all the horses out there side by side. And Storm and Gabby are making great strides right now. Like, you guys remember before, whenever he'd try and go fast, she'd pull back because she was nervous, and now she lets him go fast, and they're really yeah, making... Spurs, yeah, Yeah, now fun. they're really making strides, and if bringing him here and putting him in a small arena is going to totally change all that. Storm coming home is not a priority because he's happy where he is, and the girls are happy going there for lessons. So we're going to have a lesson barn and then a home barn. So this is what our bucket looks like after we uh, freeze after we freeze the hay, after we wet the hay. It gets all frozen to the bottom. I have to scrape it out. Aw, Willow's got a saddle pad on. Good girl. This is what it takes to be a farm girl. We need to get a better bucket for soaking hay. This one's a lot lighter. Okay, so this is Stella's nighttime hay. It's getting soaked. Um, this is the rest of Stella's hay. It doesn't look like there's a lot in there, but there's actually a lot in there. And that's what, when we come down at noon, I'll give her this. These buckets will come back up to the house. When we come down at noon, I'll bring fresh buckets and I give them fresh water. And I know that might seem excessive, but when the water freezes fast, I want them to have like nice, fresh, warm water. I want to bring her in the arena for a bit. Number two, down to the barn. We just finished homeschool. Uh, we didn't even eat lunch. So busy with their horses. Sometimes we don't even eat. But anyway, oh, we're headed. I'm headed down there. The girls are already down there. We're gonna let our horses free. They're going outside today. Like slow and steady, Laura. That's what wins the race. I know a lot of you guys are giving me advice, telling me what we should do, but we gotta do it our way, the way that we feel most comfortable. But we're gonna uh, have been given that. The go ahead to let Stella release some uh, energy in the arena, safe sound, and then once that's done, let them go outside with the electric fence. And I'm scared. I'm really scared because I can't imagine a time when I ever leave the house or leave the arena and like they're outside and we're not there watching them 24 7. Yeah, it's scary to me. So, something that's confusing to me is like, you guys just saw St Willow jump a big, huge jump. Like, this girl can jump. She's 15. Yeah, she can jump, and we have this to keep her in. Like, I don't know, maybe she can't get enough room to jump. Hi, sweet willow. I'm brushing her, I had to tell her oh. off because she's not used to brushing. Yeah. Well, groundwork Wait, and... This... No, it's because it looks like an electric fence. Oh, is that why? I don't know. Aw, so this is what we worked out in our family, is this well, is how we're gonna play with our horses. Gabby's kind of taking over Stella. Yeah, because Sophie yeah, feels comfortable with the pony. Dog. So cute! Wait, I tied her up. Oh my god, did you get the jumps out already? I got the standards. All the jumps should be... Oh, okay. I got the standards. Okay. All. So, <laughs> is that a smile? Do you love your people? So this, uh, her old owner told me that this girl, this sweet girl, loves attention. And it turns out that it is right. Like, this is what I'm scared of. I'm scared of leaving them alone, unsupervised, in an area. Like, I want to bubble wrap them. Oh, man. Like, I just want to bubble wrap them. But anyway, I'm going to remove this. And this is going to be their area. They're going to sell us free. Hmm. Pray. Da -da -da! Pretty Willow. Take her for a walk around the ring. Aww, she's gorgeous. It took a little telling off. Took a little telling off? Yes. She is a bit feisty, isn't she? Did you have to be told off? 
Sophie's finding her way. She's starting with a mini. I have to her off because she does not really like her mane. Braided? But you did it. Dun dun da Stella! And she got a rope halter on today. What's the purpose of the rope halter? I wanted a rope halter on. She wanted a rope halter? Okay, hold on here. Something that I'm gonna buy this weekend. Oops, is a do a lot a thing for that door. Hey, you're good at making me lose my mind, but I always come around, don't I? And I know sometimes. And Stella's being a good little pony. Look at her hair. Yeah. Don't roll. We just don't need it right now. Can't we just act like civilized horses today? I'm bringing you down, but I always make you smile, don't I? Don't even. Whoa, whoa, good girl. Whoa, whoa, good girl. Whoa, good girl. We we nailed it. We nailed it. Good girl. Yeah. Very nice. Good girl, Stella. See, Gabby told her off a couple of times, and that's what Stella responds to. Brings out the best of me. We're a little messed up, baby. Kind of up and down, and we keep on till we hit the ground, but then we, oh, we get back up again. Yeah, we're a little messed up, baby. It's never getting boring when we keep coming for the stars, just you and me. Oh, we always get back up again. You and me. Ooh, baby, you this whole property is fenced in sort of except for the driveway so Stella doesn't have her coat on it's nice out here it's gorgeous here you go well I was just looking my yeah well I was like how do I get back my to my friends how do I get back to my no, family no, my wow you guys we nailed this so far please God knock on wood why did I say that knock on wood don't knock on wood just spook them dream like about a week ago yeah like about a week and a half ago I had a dream that somebody ran on the street and I was like get him and we the girls and I were all out there trying to chase whatever it was and I don't know that it was a horse but um the next day Ruby went running towards the fence the, the, the road and I was screaming and I'm like catch her and she came back so I'm hoping that that's what I dreamed, but man, could you imagine? Like we finally let our horses out and then Willow breaks free. Yeah, it would not be well, good. Well, if she jumped it and cleared it, I would be surprised. All right, well, it's so peaceful out, so nice out today. I'm gonna I find know. out if she should have her my blanket on. My feet are just a little cold. Cause yeah, the warm. girls are cold, so we're gonna go up to the house. Just my feet. Get warmed up. And then come back down. Have a rest, cause like none of us have rested in days. I know, I can't watch. Sleep. Like literally. <laughs> Literally, she's just like, oh, she's like, I'll eat the grass. Yeah, why does one of Willow more interested in all this stuff over here? She's checking the place out and trying to find a spot to escape. She's trying to find a spot to eat. Yeah, well, anyways. She doesn't want that This thing. sweet girl is calm and happy, and hopefully well, Willow will be soon, pay. too. This is my new spot to sit, you guys. I'm in my bedroom here, and I have put a chair by the window, and I'm watching out there because I can watch. I can watch them. What are they doing? I don't know if they figured out that the water is inside. Like, I feel like they don't want to go into the arena because they don't want to go back into their stall. So they're drinking snow. I have to stop watching. Like, it's terrible. Willow keeps going in. And all I can see, all I can imagine is her running around the arena, like, hurting herself or doing something crazy. And Stella's outside eating all their food. So, oh, we gotta go down and check them. Yeah, we're like the waves on a big blue storm you see. We're a little messed up, baby, kind of up and down And we keep falling till we hit the ground But then we, oh, we get back up again Hey, 
and don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.